I'll be showing you two methods in which you can edit the CSS for your Shopify DON theme. The first method will be editing the overall base.css file. And the second one is where we can add CSS to specific pages or components. The second method is a little easier to manage as you're not dealing with a large CSS file. But to start things off from the Shopify dashboard, let's go through the first method and that's going to edit the overall CSS file. So from the dashboard, let's go to the left-hand side menu, clicking on online store, this will open up the theme section by default. From there, if we go down to the three dots under our current theme, if you are gonna make any changes, I'm gonna recommend that you duplicate this version of the theme. This is going to create an exact copy here. So if you make any mistakes along the way, you can easily revert to a previous backup. But to edit the code, we go down to edit code in the sub menu, and this is going to open up our Shopify code editor here for our current version of Dawn. So I have one file open here, I'm going to close it, and the file we'll be looking for is base.css. So if I search for that in the top left here, it should be under our assets folder, and then we can see base.css. So for the Shopify Dawn theme, this is our main styling file here. So if you wanted to add any new CSS or any extra code here, as you can see, I added a Shopify section announcement bar. This is to make it sticky on top. I'm gonna to recommend just adding it at the bottom here to make it easier to find for you later. For example, on my Shopify store now, I have a sticky announcement bar at the top. And if I went to my CSS file, I can just go and remove this code here, hit save in the top right. And if I were to go and reload my Shopify store, scroll down, and the bar will not be sticky anymore. So that's editing the overall base.css file. As mentioned, the second method is going to add the CSS inside the theme itself. So if we navigate back to our theme page here, I can go to customize, and this will open up my Shopify theme editor. As an example, let's say I wanted to go and change the product title by adding a custom bit of CSS. I can click on an example product here, and I can see my title. And if I click on the product information section, and I scroll down to the bottom on the right hand side, there is a section called custom CSS at the bottom. And this is going to add custom styles to this section only, and this can apply to any section in my Shopify theme. As an example, if I click to my homepage here and I go and click on the image banner, I can also add custom CSS in the bottom right hand side. So this gives me an alternative to adding the CSS in the base.css file. Before I go, I wanna say that keeping track of how much money your store has actually made can be very difficult, especially if you're using spreadsheets or Excel. That's where our sponsor ProfitCalc comes in. It's the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once set up, all you need to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, including all your ad spend from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many other cost of goods sold options, including all your other expenses as well, such as transaction fees or ad agency costs. It's gonna include a ton of different details, analytics, and metrics, so you can make smarter business decisions. It can also have multiple stores in the same dashboard board if you run multiple Shopify stores and you can get started with a 15 day free trial. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below that will bring you to the Shopify app page directly. So this concludes the video here on how to edit the CSS for your Shopify Don theme. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.